Привет, привет! Всем привет! Как видно, как слышно? Давайте посмотрим. Давид, uh, hello. I will watch as much as I can. Я сейчас на работе. Of course, David, that's great. Uh, great to see you here anyway. So, uh, my name is Elena Yoon, and this is Mindset Monday with Elena Yoon. Uh, Mindset Monday number 19. So, this is episode number 19. Uh, we catch up here every Monday. Uh, and we talk all about Russian, we talk all about um, our fears and struggles and wins and everything um, all about our mindset around Russian learning, uh, the Russian language itself and Russian speaking uh, most specifically. So, uh, our goal here is to succeed in Russian. Uh, Whatever your goal, whatever your reason is, um, it has to be bigger than you can imagine. It has to be bigger than you uh, because you want to learn Russian for some specific reason. Um, maybe you want to uh, take your life to the next level. Maybe you uh, want to get connected with other people on a deeper level. It's completely up to you, but what I one for you here is to succeed in Russian. So that's why we are very open here. We are very open-minded. We are highly coachable and we stay like this all the way. And why do we do it on Monday, by the way? Because this is the first day of the week in most of the countries in the world. And um, this is a great time for us to set the right mindset and to just keep going with that mindset and improve our uh, Russian learning during the week. So this is very, this is very logic, right? So uh, let me see who is here. Sean, привет. Uh, so glad to see you. Очень, очень рада видеть. So Dustin says hello. Ahmed, hi. Uh, Enrico, привет. Елена, привет, привет. Um, we are, where are you from? Dustin asks. So I'm originally from Russia. I'm from Moscow and um, I live in New Zealand, but now, right now, I'm in Moscow and this is my Airbnb apartment. So I'm doing my broadcast from my Airbnb apartment today. Uh, and yes, I am in Moscow. It's July 2019 and I'm so happy to be here. It's been a long time for, for me since I was here uh, last time. So I'm so excited. I have, I have to share with you a few uh, things about it. I just feel uh, so connected and reconnected with my hometown, with my city, with my uh, favorite place. Um, on the planet now, this Moscow. Uh, it's just so different to be here after a few years. And uh, Moscow is so different. It has changed a lot. And if you ever have a chance, if you ever get a chance, make it possible. Just come here and enjoy it. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So uh, I was born here and, um, you know, it's interesting that we take so many things for granted because um, like living in Moscow and uh, being, uh, being here most uh, of the time of my life, uh, I used to take so many things for granted. And now I'm just so excited. I'm like a child, you know, I'm just watching all the things. I'm just noticing everything and enjoying every single moment uh, that I'm here. So, um, yes, if you ever get a chance, uh, please do come here and enjoy all about it. Uh, Ariel is Polish. Здравствуйте, Елена. Здравствуйте. Uh, Joey Stevens, привет. Um, Jose Hurtado, Jose, привет, привет. Здравствуйте, как же? Uh, спасибо еще раз, Елена. Конечно, всегда рада. Um, Dustin says, I like uh, Moscow. 
and uh, I'm glad to see you, Elena. Okay, that's great. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate your time. Uh, I really appreciate your, um, your effort because, you know, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's nice and smooth and we enjoy it when we, we even we forget this word motivation. We don't really have it in our vocabulary anymore. Uh, sometimes we're so excited about uh, the Russian learning, but sometimes it happens that we don't have that motivation. Sometimes it, ha it happens that we really need to take an effort. It's like with everything in our life, right? It's not just about learning and it's not just about uh, Russian. It's about everything. And uh, the difference between the people who, um, like we, we have two camps here, right? There are two camps of people who start doing something, who start learning Russian, for example, and who uh, keep doing that no matter what, no matter what you uh, get along the way, uh, what difficulties and obstacles you um, you face along the way, you just um, you just make it the way that you are able to overcome everything. And you know exactly when you need to uh, to slow down, to take your time, to maybe prevent burnout, or maybe to really like take make an effort and to be here and to show up every single week um and i'm here for you and as always um for those of you who are here live with me thank you so much and thank you to those who are watching a replay uh, i'm here even if there is only one person watching and if there is only one person who needs this information uh, and is going to benefit from it i'm here for you so this is episode number 19 and today we're going to talk about a very very interesting topic which i i'm absolutely passionate about and uh it's pronunciation pronunciation uh in the russian language so um I'm very curious. First of all, let me know, please, one to 10, how interested are you in improving your pronunciation of the Russian language uh, right now? So please let me know in the chat box. Um, I wanna know one to 10, one to 10, and we exclude seven. We don't put seven here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight nine ten so let me know so you can put zero there so zero you are not interested in improving your pronunciation at all and ten you are super interested in mastering your pronunciation in russian uh please let me know how interested are you so there is probably a um a delay so i uh, i will wait okay sean ten Yes, thank you. Uh, who said 11? <laughs> I love it. Yes, let's go beyond. Let's go beyond. Uh, let's let's just kill it. Let's crush it. David says nine. Okay. Um, anyone else? How I will learn Russian language? Please give some tips. Yes, of course. I have plenty of them. This is a Mindset Monday number 19. So please, you're so welcome to go back and just watch all the 18 previous episodes. Oh my gosh, when I say it out loud, it's just, I'm so excited. I'm just so really proud of myself and of you that we've been here together for so many episodes. Guys, Ahmed, скажите, пожалуйста, у вас есть подкасты? Okay, guys, so we're going to talk about all the other questions later now the question is how interested are you in improving your pronunciation in russian so it's 10 11 9 10 okay beautiful so it means that you are really interested so please if uh if uh this is you who are interested in improving your pronunciation please keep watching because in the end of this episode i'm going to give you five steps five real very um, very simple steps that you can apply, you can apply to your learning to improve and master your pronunciation in Russian. I'm very excited. I'm so excited for you because I just, uh, pronunciation is something that 
I've been interested in for years and I am so passionate about um, learning different accents and uh, like uh, teaching myself and challenging myself to comprehend different accents and trying to understand, okay, where this comes from, where this comes from. So let's talk about it. Uh, so um, first of all, what is pronunciation? Pronunciation is simply a way in which the words of the language are spoken. That's it, very simple, right? And we're talking here specifically about the melody of the language and the accent. So these are like the main things for pronunciation that we are going to discuss right now. Uh, so uh, any language can be spoken in different ways, right? So there is no just one way to speak the language. We can, uh, we can say the same thing about English, we can say uh, the same about Spanish, any other language, the same about Russian. So um, uh, what uh, does it depend on? So, uh, like different people and different groups of people can speak the language in a different way, depending on many factors. And it can be duration of our exposure to this particular language uh, in our childhood. Uh, it can be uh, the location, our current location, our residence. Um, it can be some... Uh, specifics of the speech and the voice of the person. It can be. It can depend on uh, even uh, on the uh, ethnic group of a person. Uh, also, social factors, right? So our peer groups, uh, maybe some social groups that we we belong to and or we feel like we belong to because you know that we don't do labels here we don't put ourselves in the box so i try to put it in a more general way but you understand what i mean so it's we call it a social factor and of course education so it depends on uh, where we uh, get our education from right so it's uh, it's about our parents, it's about our peer groups, uh, it's about our like school and college, like the place we, uh, we used to go to and spend our most of the time of our life in our childhood and teenage years and when we are grown-ups. Um, so when the Russian language is a foreign language, because this is specifically uh, what we are talking about here, when the Russian language is a foreign language for a person, uh, these are um, the most challenging things that I'm going to share with you now that you can face when you learn the language. So first of all, O and A, the sounds that we pronounce in the words. For example, in the word, Родители. So we spell it as родители. So we, we spell it with O. But we pronounce it with A. Родители. There is a very, very, very simple rule for that. But I'm not going to go deeper into this, um, into every single um, point here, into every single uh, uh challenge here because we are going to cover these problems we are going to just talk what the problems are and in the end of this video i'm going to ask you questions and if you stay with me you will be able to answer these questions directly to me and then we can talk about these specific problems very deeply okay so Number one is O and A in the words. Like the words malako, again, we spell it as moloko, but we pronounce it as malako. Again, the same rule. So, number two, uh, soft and hard consonants. Soft and hard, so, uh, soft and hard sounds, including soft and hard signs. Again, let's take the let's take the same word raditili. So if we don't pay attention to the soft consonants here, we would pronounce this word as 
родители. But we don't pronounce it this way. We pronounce it as родители. Why? There is a rule for that as well. But we are not going to discuss it here again. Just stay with me till the end of this video. Uh, next thing, number three. Uh, it's the difference between English language, be, be, between the English language and the Russian language. The way we pronounce consonants. So, for example, let's take the sound T. Again, the word родители. So if I don't pay attention to this Russian, to the Russian pronunciation of this word, I would put it as радители. This is a very common way to pronounce uh, a word with a kind of English accent. So uh, sound T here, the English version will be T, T. So if you put your hand just in front of your mouth and pronounce this sound, T, T, you can feel how much air you produce when you make this sound, T, T. In the Russian language, we don't produce almost any air when we pronounce the consonants. So it will be T. T, T. So you spread your mouth and you pronounce it as T, T. If you put your mouth again in front of your mouth, you will not feel any air coming out of your mouth. So feel the difference. T, T and T, T. There is no air coming out of your mouth. So this is um, number three. So when we speak English, we produce a lot, a lot of air when we pronounce consonants. So we would pronounce it as radically, and every consonant will uh, be accompanied with that air. In the Russian way, we say it as radically. There is no air coming out of your mouth. Just try to practice it and. What helps you here is just spread your mouth when you pronounce the word. Uh, number one, two, three, four. Number four is R. The sound R is number four uh, challenge that you can face when you learn Russian language in terms of the pronunciation. So, of course, there are languages where you can easily roll your are right um for example for spanish for spanish or portuguese speaking people it's very easy to roll r and for us as well as well for russian speaking people it's so natural but for but for english speaking people it's a challenge for most of them and uh it takes practice and there are so many different tips where you can uh, learn how to do that. And again, we're not going to dig deeper uh, into this now. Just stay with me till the end of this video. Uh, number one, two, three, four, five. Number five is E. e. So this is a, not a very uh, easy sound to produce for, especially for uh, the English speaking people. And it takes practice again, and there is a way to learn it. So let's uh, uh, let's recap quickly. Five challenges that you can face when you learn Russian in terms of pronunciation. O and A in the words, soft and hard consonants, air, no air when we compare English and Russian, R sound and E. So of course there are other um things that you can face and the other challenges that you can face when you learn the language and especially especially when you want to improve your pronunciation but these are the biggest these are the 
um, like uh, five elephants uh, of the Russian pronunciation. And uh, now, as we're talking about these uh, challenges here, uh, I'm going to give you, as I promised, five steps, five tips, five beautiful and simple things to use and apply easily to your learning process if you want to master your pronunciation. Are you ready? I'm so excited for you. Okay, so number one, and this is very important, and I believe in this 100%. You need to start mastering your pronunciation from day one. Believe me, if you skip this part, and if you feel like, okay, it doesn't really matter how I pronounce it, um, people will understand me. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Of course, it, again, it always depends on your reason. It always depends on your goal. But again, if you are interested in mastering your pronunciation, please, from day one, pay attention to how you pronounce the words from day one. It's not like you learn how to say uh, radicale. Yes, of course, I will understand what you mean. I will understand this word, but you want to sound natural. You want to sound as a native to me, right? That's why you keep practicing. That's why you try to master it from day one. And look at this, not like as, okay, I'm, I, I just cannot pronounce it. I, this is day one. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it because it's too hard. There is nothing hard if you decide for yourself that it's easy. So from day one, you say to yourself, I can do it. I love this pronunciation and I can do it. And I can tell you, this is absolutely possible. Look at these uh, beautiful actors who, if maybe you uh, ever watched uh, Vanity Fair, um, uh, close-ups and interviews with the actors, or um, the Hollywood Reporter, um, like close-ups again, interviews and uh, roundtables. When they talk, if you haven't ever done this, just please do, just go check them out, those interviews, and just try to find uh, something about accents. Um, look at these actors, they can do that. They can absolutely master the Russian language. And you can too especially if this is something that you are interested in. So this was number one, start mastering your pronunciation from day one of your learning. Uh, number two, find great materials where you can see how the words and the phrases are pronounced, or you can listen to it and you can listen to it again, again, and again. And this is something very, of very good quality. So, of course, you can have friends, you can do it online, you can have a teacher, you can do it offline, like meetups, uh, these uh, polyglot, meetup, polyglot meetups and everything. But it, it's, not, it's, it's not something that you can um, do every single day. So it has to be something um, very accessible for you, right? So, uh, you know this uh, website probably, farvo.com. Uh, I will um, leave a link for you in a description box. So forever.com is, is a beautiful resource where you can check any uh, word or even a phrase, how it is pronounced by a native speaker. And like, for example, um, uh, in English, you can uh, see that people from, uh, from America, from Canada, from Australia, from England, they pronounce the same word, the same phrase in a slightly different way. You can find um, these um, subtle differences in pronunciation of the Russian speaking people there as well. And you always have a few options. So you can really challenge your ear and you can challenge yourself and just try to pronounce it the way it is pronounced by the native speakers. 
another uh, great resource. So um, there is a great, um, a great teacher. His name is Nikolai, and maybe you know him. And I will uh, leave a link for you in the description box as well. He has his um, uh, YouTube channel, but he just uh, he just started um, some time ago, so uh, he doesn't have a lot of videos there. But on Instagram, he posts every single day, sometimes a few times a day. And he shares how to pronounce very specifically, um, very practical words. And he is so good at this. He's just amazing. And you can see how he moves his mouth, how he's doing it in a very slow way. So I will put this link for you in the description box. Then next, number three, step number three, shadowing. This is something, yes, I know, I sound as a broken, broken record for you and I love it. I absolutely enjoy it because this is something I believe in. Uh, shadowing is an amazing, absolutely amazing tool. So I will put the, uh, the link in the description box for you as well where you can learn more about this method. What is great about it? Um, so basically, again, the person is speaking uh, on a pace, at a pace where you can understand at least, at least 80% of the speech. Only in this case, it will be effective for you. If it's less than 80%, yes, you can do that in, just in terms of um, like trying to copy it. Uh, you can try to improve your pronunciation this way but you are going to miss very obvious things. So it's much better if you understand at least 80%. If you don't, you need to find a material which is uh, where you can uh, feel yourself confident. It's like, yes, I, I think I understand like at least 80%. So, uh, and what you do here in this method, you listen to the speech and you speak on top of it. So it's not like you're listening to a phrase like мои родители живут за городом. And then you pause and then you're like мои родители живут за городом. No. This is just a repetition. You hear in shadowing, you speak on top of the speech. You speak on top of it. So I'm speaking and you're speaking right after I started. And even if you skip the words, if you don't comprehend something, it, it's great. It's a part of the process. From um, like when you just start, you are going to skip a lot of words probably. But then you listen to the same speech, to the same thing again, 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 and again. And then you will be just, you will be speaking very, very close to the original version. So I will leave the link for you to learn more about this method in the description box as well. So number four, be a stand-up comedian. Be that solo performer. What do I mean by that? You have to perform the Russian language. You can, you can just, you can be goofy. You can be, you can laugh. You have to exaggerate. Walk around the room. Uh, say it like you have thousands of people around you. And you want everyone in every single role, in the first one, in the last one, to hear you as well. So the last role has to uh, hear you as well as the first one exaggerate speak out loud add so much emotions as you can so many emotions i know that <laughs> so add as much as you can exaggerate just multiply 16 and why do you need to do that it's because when you practice when you do it as a stand-up comedian then in real life, it will be much easier for you to speak at a slower pace and to speak, a, let's call it a normal way, right? When you don't need to exaggerate, when you just, you're just enjoying it the way, the natural way. Number five, stretch yourself. 
stretch your mouth and stretch your tongue when you speak the Russian language. Um, the best way to do it is to experiment with the accents. And I'm not talking only about the Russian accent here. You need to do your homework and find the materials where people, uh, where people experiment with different accents. For example, like Indians speak English, like Mexicans speak English, for example, like Russians speak English, or maybe, uh, and you can do the same thing with the Russian language as well. So you just ask yourself, okay, let's experiment today. How, uh, uh, how an Indian person will speak Russian? How a Spanish person uh, will speak Russian? Experiment with these different accents. And that's amazing because we have so many different great materials um, on the internet, on YouTube. You can find so many beautiful people uh, experimenting with their accents and you have to do it too. The more you stretch yourself uh, in terms of trying to pronounce different words in these different interesting ways, the easier it will be for you to do it in Russian. And again, be a stand-up comedian, a solo performer who enjoys um, himself or herself, and you do it as loud as you want because the, 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 the last row there um, just can't wait to learn from you. So these are the five steps for you to master your pronunciation in Russian. So let's recap quickly. First, start from day one. No procrastination, uh, no things like, I'm going to just pronounce it the way I can, and then maybe I will do something about it in a year. No way, from day one. Number two, uh, use the materials as forever and uh, learn Russian with Nikolai. Uh, then, uh, shadowing. Number four is be a stand-up comedian. And number five is stretch yourself and experiment with different accents. Uh, also, uh, I promise to let you know how you can improve some of your uh, some of your Russian sounds. Uh, I will also uh, give you the links to uh, the Real Russian Club. Daria has a few videos where she shares how to learn how to roll your R. A beautiful material, very interesting, and you can experiment and laugh out loud and be a stand-up comedian again. Uh, with E as well. And my question to you now is, as you are here, as you've been with me, as you, you have been with me all this time, and I really appreciate it, now I'm going to ask you a question. We discussed five biggest challenges that you face when you learn Russian and when you want to improve your pronunciation. My question is, do you want to overcome this? Do you want to master these things? O and A, soft and hard consonants. When you speak with air and no air, when you roll your R and when you can pronounce E easily. What I ask you to do now, right now, please send me a DM message on Instagram, or you can comment here below this video. You can do it in the live chat box, or you can email me and let me know, yes, Elena, I want to improve my pronunciation and I want to master these particular things. Just, you can choose just one out of five. You don't need to choose everything because you are not going to master all of it at the same time. What are you going to start with? So I want to see how many of you are interested. Do you need this material from me? If you are, we will dig deeper into this. So, and one more tip. 
if you are going to find a teacher, a Russian teacher for you to uh, learn Russian and practice and improve your, improve your pronunciation, please don't expect from every Russian speaking person and from any teacher to be a, an expert in pronunciation. A teacher cannot be great at everything. This, it's a great teacher if she or he is specialized in only pronunciation. So if you want to master your accent or pronunciation, you have to find the person who is doing only that. It's like my favorite example, if you're going to do some uh, photography, right? Like, for example, you have a newborn and uh, uh, it's just like two weeks old and you have a photographer who uh, is doing a wedding photography and, uh, and family photography and couples and uh, horses and everything in the world, just whatever. I'm uh, great at everything, he or she says. And there is another photographer who is specialized only in photographing newborns. Who are you going to choose? The same with the language teachers. If you want to improve your pronunciation, find the right teacher for that and ask honest questions and expect honest answers. The teacher cannot be great at everything and we have to accept it. We have to receive it. This is, uh, we, we, have to, to, we have to be brutally honest with ourselves and each other from day one. Then we will succeed in Russian when we want, not when we can. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you, and yeah, that's it for, for today. So let me see uh, if you have any questions for me today. Um, so, uh, Jose says, okay, David, David says nine instead of ten, since I can get the correct pronunciation after I learn the words. Okay, great. Косе Хуртадо, моей самой большой трудностью была скорость, с которой они обычно говорят среди русских, как обычно. Yes, Jose, of course, of, of course, the um, native speakers speak quite fast in, in any language, right? So uh, this is something that takes time and practice, and you will get there. Um, shadowing is amazing for that. It's just the best. It's just the best. Um, what do you um, study or work? Okay, uh, guys, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to read and answer only the questions that relate to our topic today. Uh, Malako, yes, Jose, exactly. Uh, finally, no echo, yes. Yes, hi, Jonko, thank you for being with me here. No echo today, uh, um, no bonuses, no echo bonuses. I would be worried if no air would come out of my mouth. Oh, I just absolutely love your sense of humor. Please uh, stay here forever and please uh, keep doing this. This is amazing. Yes, <laughs> if no air comes out of your mouth, then yeah, it's maybe too late to worry, I guess. Um, привет, привет, Satakane. I, I hope I pronounced it well enough. Uh, would you consider the videos of Eleni Yoon as great materials? Mm, uh, oh, thank you for a great question, Janko. Uh, in VK, Vkontakte, uh, I believe, I uh, have the Russian films uh, with subtitles in English and Spanish maybe can help to improve. Okay. Um, is as like Facebook, but never... Okay. Um, okay, got it. Um, Jose, the way is like native speaks is a challenge. Yes. Uh, now I know I need to work on pronunciation. No later. Yes, David, exactly. Great stream, Elena. Love to be here. Okay, Junko, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Guys, again, um, спасибо большое, что были со мной сегодня. Я благодарна вам за ваше время, за ваше внимание. Спасибо. Я желаю вам прекрасного дня, отличной недели, чудесного настроения. И помните, как всегда, вы лучшие. 
Спасибо и увидимся на следующей неделе. If you would like to share any feedback or you would like to um, ask a question, please feel free to reach out. The best way to do it is to DM me on Instagram or you can always email, email me on at uh, elena at wonderxm.com. So I'm here for you. Always happy to, um, to hear from you. And thank you again. Спасибо большое за ваше время и внимание. Увидимся в следующий понедельник. Пока.